Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on this channel. Today, we will be talking about part two of this whole complete short stories of Mark Twain, which is pretty heavy. And I will have to say that today's story is about a very bad, bad boy. Bad boy, bad girl. Wait, wait why am I saying bad girl? Oh, well. Now, I hope you'll enjoy this episode. And before you, before we start this episode, start thinking of supporting my channel on Patreon by Shun Course. I go by the name Shun Course. Let's get started. Now, to complete short stories of Mark Twain. Now, this story, it talks a lot about... It talks a lot about some stuff that we shouldn't even be talking about. This is all grown-up stuff, but literally, I'm just going to read them. Now, the intro for the story of the bad little boy is that it's one going like this. It's like, it starts like a fairy tale. Once, there was a bad little boy whose name was Jim. So, if you will notice, you will find that boy little, bad little boys are nearly always called James in your Sunday school books. And yeah, that... I actually noticed that pattern, and that's exactly how I knew about this. And, well, I never noticed that pattern until, well, until Mark Twain wrote this story. And since it is just his second volume of the stories, short stories, I, I'm guessing that he was pretty smart and all that stuff. He's also very creative at finding patterns in books. And however, even Jim's James and all that stuff is happening like that. And I can't believe, though, that Jim is... James is very bad and all that stuff, but Jim here, I don't know. Jim is usually like Jimin and all that stuff, so yeah. Yeah, I'm a pretty big fan of Jimin and all that stuff. But still, uh, I don't think I will be able to use that filter maker or, or, or everything like that. <clears throat> then the bad little boy is called Jim, but however, he does a lot of bad stuff. And this is exactly what he done. Oh no! And it's pretty short, very short, just two pages. Sorry, less than a, less than two pages. Then, Jim was a child of life. He, he had been the better of him and nothing could hurt him because he's a very bad, bad boy. And then finally one day, one day he was almost gone with the bad, bad boy literal duel. And you know what happened? He literally became an adult. He went to run university and was like, huh, let's study. And then he got drunk as a piper and was kicked out of university. Yeah! And you know what happened? He came back to university again, started writing down notes and like, huh, why does his writing look upside down? Oh, I know, that's because the book is upside down. Hey, it still looks upside down. Oh, it's sideways. Hey, wrong sideways. Like this. That's a lot of things that might happen. Now, let me write this letter for you. Hey, why is this upside down? Oh, that's big. Hey, why is this letter really upside down? Oh, that's because it is upside down. Wait, it still doesn't look right. Hey, it's on the sideways. Oh, hey, it's on the sideways. Like this. Oh, wrong, wrong side. Wrong side way. This way. And it's exactly how it looks like. And that's how this... And then the story... Ends like this. So you see that there never was a bad dream to the Sunday school books. That's such a streak of luck as the sinful Jim of the charmed life. And he married at the end. And that's exactly what happened. Now, that's basically it from this story. And, you know, uh, the, as I said earlier in the other episodes, uh, the other episode of Mark Twain, this story uses dull words. Now, I'm saying it's dull because, well, first of all, look at this. Oh, yeah. I breathed, I breathed on my glasses. First of all, it was the ancient times, and there was not a lot of en- English words make, make, made and then, and now we are using slang words, which is much cooler than these dull grammar words. And so, I guess it's just like that. It's just like that. And that's how everything literally happened here. That's how everything literally happened here. And you know why I'm saying literally it happened here? Well, it's because that there are a lot of bowling balls that needs to be done with fixing. If you know what I mean, that is. Now, I just want to say that before I end this video, before I end this video, Mark Twain might have some dull words, but he is, one, he is said to be the greatest literature person of all time. And you know why? It's because that he has a great mind for wits, and he loves stories. So, yeah. 
I think that's the reason why he has a lot of, lot of like that. Yeah, you know. You know, uh, the words. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next episode. Shin Han, out. Peace.